Given that this expression here can be written in the form of 6x to the p plus 3x to the q, write down the value of p and the value of q. Given that dy dx equals this expression, and that y equals 90 when x equals 4, find y in terms of x, simplifying the coefficient of each term. So here's the question then. So we need to use properties of indices and split this, and fractions, and split this up. So let's do part A then. So um, this thing, uh, 6x plus 3x to the 5 over 2. Instead of root x, we're going to write x to the half. Now let's split it up. It's 6x over this thing underneath. This is power 1. And when you divide, you minus top, take bottom. So 1 take a half is a half. So the first part will be 6x to the half plus 3 lots of. And the same goes here. When you divide, you minus top take bottom, 5 over 2 take half is 4 over 2 which is 2, so that's x squared. So that tells us the values of p and q. p equals 6, and uh, no, it's the power, p is the power half, isn't it? So we need to get that right. So p is a half, reading off the correspondences, and 3x to the q, so q is 2. So p is a half and q is 2. So given that dy dx equals this, and that y equals 90 when x is 4, find y in terms of x. So let's do part b now. So let's have a look at this part of the problem then. So dy dx, so let's separate the variables and integrate straight away. So let's do that. So separating. the variables and integrating gives so the dy will leave as is here equals and we'll move the dx up to be with the expression of x and this was simplified in the preceding example as 6x to the half plus 3x squared. So all we did was we moved the dx up to be with this, and it simplified forms this. So we've separated the variables then, and integrating. So let's do the integral. There's a one lot of, of course, here by default, and one integrates to y. One dy integrates to y, of course. Here we've got powers of x, so raise the power by one, half Increase by 1 is 3 over 2. Divide by 3 over 2. Plus 3x. Increase the power by 1. Divide that by that number. 3. Cubed over 3. Plus k. The constant of integration. So now let's tidy it up. y is equal to 6 over 3. The 3 goes into 6 twice. This 2 comes up to be with that 2 to make 4. x to the 3 over 2. Plus the threes cancel here and we're just left with x cubed plus k. Now we're told that um, the initial conditions above y equals 90 when x equals 4. So let's put that in and see what we get for k. So y equals 90, x equals 4. So y equals 90, x equals 4 gives. So we get 90 is equal to 4x, which is 4, to the power 3 over 2, plus the x, which is 4, cubed, plus k. So let's simplify this and let's see what we get. 90 is equal to 4 um, is 2 squared, and 2 squared to 3 over 2 is 2 cubed, isn't it? which is 8. The other way to look at it is 4 to the half is 2 and 2 cubed is 8. So 4 eighths are 32. And then this is 64, isn't it? So that tells us that k equals, reading from right to left, 32 and 64 is 96. Move that over. 90 minus 96 is minus 6. And I've written it down from right to left. k equals minus 6. So let's look back at the question then. Find y in terms of x, simplifying the, simplifying the coefficient of each term. So, let's write it down then. 
y equals 4x to the 3 over 2 plus x cubed minus 6. k was minus 6, wasn't it, in here? 